All right, uh, welcome to uh, part two. So one thing I forgot to mention in the first part, it's just another thing you can do is just select uh, your squishy there and um, just go into right click object properties and then you can just freeze and uncheck uh, show frozen and gray just so you don't accidentally select them. So I'm just going to undo that because we're going to need them unfrozen when we want to uh, constrain our antenna to them. Okay, so I'm just going to see what these back out. Right, so we're just going to create a very simple antenna. So for this, I'll just create a cylinder. Now, you want to just make sure that uh, you have enough height segments so that it's going to deform nicely because we're going to use a bend modifier here. So, um, if you want, we can, um, I'm just going to apply uh, the taper modifier on top of this. We'll just taper down at the top and uh, we'll just create a sphere, just to, there's a little nubbin on the top there. You can uh, lower the resolution there if you want. And uh, I'll just shift A for quick align. Just align it to that cylinder, bring it to the top, and then we'll just um, I'll convert this to an edible poly, and uh, I'm just going to attach the um, attach the sphere on. Right, so that's our antenna. Now we'll just add our band modifier. I'm just going to change the angle there. So it's minus 90. Right, so we can zero that out. Now, that'll be our antenna. So the next thing we want to do is we want to attach this, constrain it to it. So an easy way to do that, we just come up here to animation, constraints, attachment constraint, and we get a pick whip here. So we'll just pick our squishy. Now you can see, you know, it attaches itself on with default here, but not to worry we can just um, go down to set position here click that and just click and hold the left mouse button and that will uh, attach it onto our box so we can move it around wherever we like so I'll just put it maybe here let's move it in a bit more and there you can just put it wherever you like and I'll just um, Assign that material. I usually use V-Ray, but I haven't uh, got it installed yet. Because I say I've only started using this Max 2015 today, so I'm, I'm still on 2014, the last good while. Okay, right. So there's our antenna. Now the next thing we want to do is um, come over here and just uh, one thing you're you're gonna need is uh, we have the attribute holder here, but a much better version that is pen attribute holder so we'll add that so pen attribute holder I'm sure most 3D Max users would know Paul Neal so that's uh, this is um, his own modifier his version of the attribute holder so you can just go to his website it, uh, download it it's just a script and then just drop the script copy and paste it into your root max folder in scripts startup and uh, it'll be here in the modifier list then next time you restart max Right, so next thing we want to do now is uh, come up here to Animation Parameter Editor, and we're going to create a, a slider over here, the modifier list, so we don't have to use the bend modifier to, to animate. So uh, we'll just call it um, Bendy. Uh, float is the parameter type, and I'm going to change this to slider. It's much uh, much more user friendly to use. So. Uh, now the range here at the moment you can see the test slider that's zero to a hundred so what we want to do is we want to have this slider in the middle so we can bend both ways but a hundred isn't enough of a range to bend it far enough so you can change this to minus two hundred and change this to plus two hundred and you can see now when we add our spinner over here it's in the center here with enough range either side to bend this so you can close down the parameter editor and um, 
now at the moment obviously you know it doesn't do anything so uh, what we'll do is just right click on your antenna wire parameters now we'll now to modified object pen attribute holder to custom attributes bendy and then you get a pick whip and you can just wire it back to itself I'm sorry you're supposed to uh, hang on a sec there I'm just gonna redo that try that again wire parameters modified object pen attribute holder custom attributes bendy pick whip modified object bend and then angle so click that I can see here now we want to wire this across you can see what this is here this is the modified object custom attributes modifier list bendy which is our custom attribute that we just created and sorry about that that was just the other video finished uploading sorry yeah so here this is our bendy here and we want to connect that across to the angle of our bend modifier and just connect it close that down and now you can see our slider and then if you want to just reset it this is why the pen attribute hauler you can just reset all to zero out the uh, the attributes and uh, that's pretty much it so you can see now with the attachment constraint that our antenna is nicely connected up to our rig and then we have easy to access controls here for secondary animation you can just reset that and uh, that's pretty much it alright cheers thanks good luck